The 11th question is to compute the summation. It is from the lesson 5.2. Your all these problems can be directly solved in calculator. All we have to do is use this summation notation. You can see over here, if you press shift and this log symbol, you get that. And this i variable can be written in terms of x, alpha and x, because over here they have clearly mentioned it's x is equal to. Whatever is the variable, you just take it as x minus 1 and then it starts from 1 and it goes until 70 and here we go just in a few seconds you'll get the answer it's 7385 now sometimes it might take up till 30 seconds you know some of the complicated problems but you'll definitely get the answer here it is 3x minus 4 and you can see the lower limit is 1 and the upper limit is 45 all you do is press equal to and you will get the answer 2925. Similarly, you can solve all these problems. I'll do the 12th one here. It is 8 minus i, that is alpha x. Over here, the variable is only x. It starts from 1 and it goes until 50. So this is the answer here. Minus 875. Let me do this as well because there's square involved here. So it is 4 minus square of i, that is x squared, from 1 to 40. And here we go, it is 21,980. Yes, that's the correct answer. Similarly, you can solve these. Doesn't matter, they're huge. It's the same method. Let me try this one here. It is n but we use again here x squared minus 3 times x plus 2 and it's from 1 till 100 and here we go the answer will be just take some time 3223 oh sorry 323,400 that's how we solve it similarly you can solve these over here just make sure you put the proper brackets now here you can see it is let me clear it off. Shift summation. This is sigma interval. And open the bracket. The already one brackets are there. Those big brackets are already there. Just open one bracket. Write x minus 3. Close the bracket and square it. Over here you just close the bracket and square it up. And then you add x and subtract x. Uh, subtract 3. It starts from 3. It goes until 30. The value is 7,308 and you can see that's the answer. Similarly, you can solve all these problems. Here it starts from 4 to 20. Just type it out and you'll get the answer. Now, what about this problem? Here it's n, isn't it? Here you don't need to solve it by writing. All you need to do is type it out. So all the four options need to be available. Let's press shift and this symbol, you get the summation. Now, it's k, but we use x squared minus 3, and the limit starts from 3 until n. Now, what is n? I will just take a value of 10. Okay? What is the answer? It's 356, right? Now, here, look, this is the answer. It is n minus and so on. All I have to do is I have to just choose the same n value here, and I must match 356. So whatever I get over here, 356, write it down. Now try all the four options. I'll try this one. It is x times x plus 1. Close the bracket. Open the bracket again. 2x plus 1 here. Divided by 6. And then what do we, go, what do we have? It's 3 times x plus 1. Calculate. What did I take? n as 10 it is 356 and now let's calculate it say at 50 you do not need to take big values you can take smaller values it's 42276 or let me calculate it at 3 itself it'll be 6 now let's do this over here but what you need to do is take always more than this okay it's always more than this but this c is going to work uh, 3 is going to work but from 3 you need to take but 3 and 3 it will be the exact same value it's better to take more than 3 10 or 20 or 15 what i would personally take is if it's 3 i'll just take 5 the next easy 
whole number to remember it's 5. Okay. Now let me solve this. Shift dy by dx. It's x squared minus 3. And it starts from 3 until which is the ending number? If I take 5, it should be 41. And if I take 3 here, it should be 6. And I had taken even 50, but I forgot what was the number, but it will be the same thing. It was 42,000 something. Yes, that's how we solve it. Now, there is no problem over here with infinity. This is the last problem. But what if you had infinite here? Then you just take a huge number. Don't take 999 because it will just be a math error. It can't compute so much. Take a big number and it will try to, you know, round off to one number. But these are not possible because these are specific, the, the infinity problem, the specific problem. As you increase the number to a big number, you will get a specific number. It, it you know, um, sums up to become certain number, maybe 103. And it won't go more than that. So that is the thing. If it was infinity, just take a big number here. And usually if you just say 90 or 100, it will be almost the same value. And then you can easily check the option and select the correct answer. Over here, this is not a particular problem for infinity. There are specific problems. But here, it's not mentioned any problems for infinity. But let me just solve this out. Here, we have 0. And then we have here plus 5. See, I'll choose 100 for now. And let me see the answer. It just takes too much time to compute. It's such a huge number, right? But why do we do this? There is no need of this. I will just choose a simpler number. I'll choose, say, 5. Now let's look into the options. Here, what have we got? We have got, this has one. Of, this is the correct answer, but you will have four options. You need to try it in all the four options. Only then it will work. So let me try x times x plus 1. Close the bracket, open the bracket again. 2x plus 1 divided by 6. And over here it will be plus 5 plus 5 n. So calculated at 5, here we go, it was 85. And calculated at, say, 100, which we did, it was a huge number. This is the answer. So this is using the formula, but we do not need to use the formula. We can directly use it, use the calculator and solve it. That is the end of this question. I hope it is clear. If you have any doubts, please consider re-watching the video or posting your doubts in the comments. I hope you all will head on to the next video.